Hi everyone, welcome to another card video. This week I used the butterflies again because they're just so pretty. Um, I uh, cut a few pieces out of my um, spellbinders and I also embossed, dry embossed that piece before I started the video up just because it takes a while to do that and I use my Big Shot Sizzix. And then I'm taking some Distress Ink, first Scattered Straw and then some Spiced Marmalade and I'm starting off the cardstock and then rolling my applicator onto the cardstock. And here I am with Barn Door. I'm just blending all three of those together. And you'll see that the, the dry embossed parts come out a little bigger. All right, so on my Spellbinders piece, where I dry emboss the edges, I'm just gonna take my Stampin' Up! marker and I'm gonna tilt it over to its side to get a thicker edge. And then I'm gonna just color in the outside embossed part. My camera is directly above my workspace, so it's kind of hard to do without... <laughs> that's why you see my head, because my head has to be like right over it to get it right. It's a little tedious, but um, I think it looks good when it's all done. Now I'm going to take some Memento ink, because it works best with Copic. I'm going to use my Copic markers to color in the butterfly. First I'm going to distress my edges with a little bit of yellow, the scattered straw, just so it's not so stark with the black and the white. And then I'm actually going to take my um, sponge dauber, which is a little fingertip applicator, and I'm going to add some black ink just to soften that edge. Alright, now for the coloring, I'm going to use three different shades of yellow. I love these yellows. I ha I'll have the numbers on my blog. Um, they blend really well together. So first is the all over lightest color. Then I take the darkest and put it in the shadow area. And then I take the medium, blend, and then take the lightest again. The same thing on the other side. So I've got my lightest shade, then the darkest right in the center where the shadow would be. Medium to blend in between the two and then take the lightest and just go over it one more time. I'm taking a crumb cake marker just to color the center and now I've got my liquid pearls which is, I'm just gonna make tiny circles as I squeeze the bottle. I'm gonna color all those dots in. Now I've got my Jelly Roll Stardust pen which is a very very fine 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 glitter that goes on in pen form and um, it just adds a nice little touch. I'm going to set that off to dry and work on my sentiment piece. I'm going to do the same exact process. So I'm going to do the yellow and then I'm going to do the black outline and then I'm going to do the black sponge dauber around the edges. I'm taking this For You sentiment from a Happy Moments Hostess set that we had at Stampin' Up. I'm going to use my Stampin' Jig because I really want it to be exact. I've got such a little piece here. Alright, now I'm going to take some black embroidery thread. I just put some adhesive on the back, wrap it around three times and then adhesive the end piece and then snip it off. And then I'll go rearrange it a little bit, make sure it's the way I want it, and then maybe tighten it up here and there just to make sure it looks good. Now I'm gonna take my big adhesive ATG gun and uh, adhere it to some black cardstock. And then I'm gonna adhere that black piece to a four and a quarter by five and a half card. Alright, so now I'm just going to assemble all my pieces. I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this butterfly. I'm trying not to touch the green part because it's still a little bit wet. Um, to sentiment on the top. And then I'm going to take some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals, which is just foam adhesive on the back, but I'm not going to put it in the middle because that's where the thread is. I don't want it to be too bulky in the middle. And then finally, I'm gonna, just going to take another piece of that black thread and just tie a bow right there at the bottom takes me a couple, of a couple of tries. All right, 
I think that'll do it. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.